Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome to Let's Play Civilization V Brave New World as Babylon. Before we get into the game, I want to announce my first ever giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. The prize is a Steam code for XCOM Enemy Unknown, along with the Slingshot and Elite Soldier Pack DLCs. And I'll announce the winner in part three of this series. With that out of the way, we can focus on the setup for this series. Now, as you can see, we will be playing as Babylon. They were the winner of a very close vote in the poll. Both Portugal and the Incans were close behind. I decided to mix things up. I often will play with a continents map, but we're going to use the Earth map this time around. Other than that, I will be playing on standard size at a mortal difficulty and standard pace. And as usual, I'm not changing anything in the advanced setup. I'll go ahead and go in and show you that, but we're gonna be playing on default settings for everything else. I think that covers all the preliminaries, so let's go ahead and start the game. If you're not familiar with Babylon, we'll talk about what makes them special. For starters, they have the unique ability of ingenuity, which means that when you discover writing, you get a free great scientist. And for the entire game, you earn them 50% faster. They also get the Bowman, which is an upgraded version of the Archer. And Walls of Babylon are better walls. Essentially, what both of those two things do is help you with your early game defense. This looks like a good solid starting location. We're on the coast. We have two unique luxuries in incense and wine. We're on a river. Really the main thing I would change if I could is to be uh, on a hill here, but it certainly isn't worth going in search of. Um, let's go ahead and see what's in this ruin. Excellent. That's pretty much the one I would have picked if I could. We'll go ahead and build a scout first. And then for our first technology, we're going to slam pottery. So I see that we actually have three luxuries here. We have the silk as well. And that's probably meant to be our second. Wow, and another ruin already. So far, this does seem like a pretty respectable starting location. We see silver up here as well. Uh, mm. Okay, so not a great ruin that time. I guess they're making me pay for the earlier one where we got population. I'm probably not going to go a lot farther afield with my warrior, but there we go. So we've met a city-state. We picked up eight faith. That pretty much guarantees me a pantheon as long as I build a shrine in anything like a reasonable time frame. So again, that plays into the idea that, you know, we're, we're probably going to try and do a religion. It would definitely be nice if we could not only found a pantheon, but get one of the earlier picks for the tenant. Uh, let's go ahead and bring the scout over in this direction and we'll start bringing the warrior back south. Let's uh, let's take a look at our management for our workers here. Uh, we're gonna lock in that tile, and I'm gonna put, actually hold on. I don't want production focus. I'm gonna go gold focus because that way it'll automatically grab the wine when that tile uh, is absorbed. Big picture, what I really want to do in this game is grow my capital as tall as I possibly can to support a lot of academies. And then uh, ideally to do that, I would found another city on the coast so I could just perpetually be sending a cargo ship with food to battle on. That would help a lot. Now there is a mountain over here. Um, the problem I would have is there's almost no food in that area and it's not on the coast. Um, I, maybe I could use this mountain down here, but it is difficult to have your main science producing city be other than your capital. 
uh, because it's just difficult like to do something like build the national college there by a reasonable turn. But that is something, you know, maybe we'll at least look at because having the mountain means you can build an observatory and, you know, that is a big boost. So we'll see. I'm not going to set anything in stone yet, but whether it's the capital or your second city, you definitely want to grow it as tall as you can to support the academies and specialists and all of that that you need to be a uh, science juggernaut. Ooh, another garbage ruin. But uh, we shall survive. Let's come down south. We'll start evaluating this area for a potential second city. And um, no, no ruins up here, it looks like. Well, let's see what's down here. So, as far as city locations go, I mean this wouldn't be horrible we would have fish we would have marble we would have cattle we're next to the mountain uh, of course you're on the coast that goes without saying we wouldn't have a river so that kind of sucks but yeah that's that's definitely a spot i would consider let's put it that way and i guess the other thing that i would want to look at Hmm. Yeah, you couldn't do it. See, well, we'll have to see. If this is a, a like a dead end and then it's just ocean, that's one thing. But if this is a land bridge and it looks to me like maybe we're on North America and this is the way to Central and South America, then having a city here to kind of block that, that does seem good to me. Now really want a worker I really want a granary but I am going to build a shrine I've said it a couple of times I definitely would like to have the opportunity to not only get a religion but try to get an early choice on the tenants same for the pantheon I don't want it completely picked over so I don't want to put it off. And, uh, you know, the higher the difficulty you go, on um, deity, it's far from a sure thing you'll even get the religion. Uh, but even on Immortal, you know, they tend to uh, get there at a pretty reasonable pace and rob you of your better choices. So this probably won't be realistic, but I'll give it a try. Uh, my fear is what will happen. I'll start fighting and they'll spawn another unit. Now, if it's a melee unit back here, I don't care. But if it's an archer, uh, that's going to be a bit of a pain. We will see. I'm going to come up here, explore this area. It actually looks like there's a ruin. And um, I suspect that I saw that earlier and just blanked on it somehow. We're going tradition. And we're going to keep coming north. I'm going to try to skirt that barbarian camp as much as possible. Man, there's like no food down here, but lots of spice. And you would certainly, <laughs> certainly have a strategic location if you blocked this off. Okay. Yep, there are archers. I'm not going to try to fight them. Okay, uh, I am going to go ahead and heal up a little bit, but the fact that they spawned another brute is awesome. I just want to heal enough that I keep the advantage against those guys. Let's grab the ruin. Oh, wow. I don't remember if I've ever gotten four, like two, excuse me, two population like that before. Uh, unfortunately, it's kind of ruined me as far as my food goes. Um, oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Let me do this. Let me buy that. So that helps. I mean, not a lot. We're still <laughs> 43 away. Um, wow, I need a worker. I need a worker 
really mad. So. Um, hmm. so they have a brute attacking them. I think I'm going to take archery. There's enough of these idiots around that uh, by idiots I mean the barbarians. Oh wow. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try and finish these guys off. Pick up some cheat points with Lhasa. Although, if they make a worker and I steal it, mm, that's going to kind of go to waste. But uh, one thing at a time, I suppose. If nothing else, I get experience for my scout. Don't know if we'll get the kill. Yep, we did. Cool. That makes me happy. We only picked up 12 influence, but whatever. Let's go ahead and grab legalism. So an unknown civilization picked up a pantheon and they took sun god. Plus one food for each banana, citrus, and wheat. Well, since I don't have any of those things, I don't think that's a problem for me. Okay, we're definitely doing a worker. I want one. I want one right now. Okay. Wow. I got to be careful here. I'm actually going to heal up again. Is he on open terrain? All right. I can never remember this. I think it's where the guy you're attacking is that gives you the bonus. If not, well, oh well. All right. So there is no worker here. I was really hoping that there would be one. Wow, another brute? Seriously? All right, let me heal up. And if they do spawn a worker, I really want to be healed because I have to take city bombardment. World's busiest people. Well, we're not worst. That is something. Yeah, there won't be a lot of action on turns where I'm just literally healing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Go ahead and, oh, wait, no, I'm not. I'm just going to heal. I was going to explore some more, but screw that. Uh, I just noticed that he spawned a worker. Uh, it's in the city. So he'll probably kill this thing with bombardment next turn and then move the worker somewhere to start doing an improvement. And, um, yeah, let me tell you. Okay, let's attack. It's tedious continually healing up like this. The problem is if I take that camp and I'm almost dead, this thing will just finish the job. And that's not exactly what I'm going for. So, oh, another brute. That's kind of bad. Um, let me see if I can do this. Uh, what was the result? 21 26. Okay, so the one is almost dead at least. All right, man. We are going for it. Yep. Sorry, Lhasa. Uh, actually, can I do this? Yeah, I'll make peace right now. So I didn't even have to take a shot. That is so awesome. I was thinking that I would, that there would be at least one bombardment of my scout. And um, yeah, I just kind of realized there at the last second that I didn't really need to do that. Maybe I should have healed up for a turn or two. I don't know. But I didn't. So no point worrying about it now. I'm going to come over here. I Well, actually, he might not be safe now that I think about it. I'm going to guard him with my scout. Because there was that other brute somewhere over here. Okay, this is the key. Yeah, okay, I'm going to die. Uh, I'm just going to fortify so they at least pay the stiffest price I can make them. And now I know it's safe. So I'm just going to come back. What's my standing with loss? Yeah, minus 59. So... The 12 I picked up, that ended up being pretty much a non-event. 
I don't see how I'll possibly live. Yeah, I didn't even make it through this turn. Uh, if it had only been the one guy, then it would have been different if I had just healed for a bit. But once I was sandwiched between two, then realistically, that was that. And uh, I'm not really fussed about it. It's just a stupid warrior. Uh, but unfortunately, what it does mean is I'm not going to have any choice except to go out of my way and... Um, uh, sorry, I got distracted for a second. I, I'm going to have to build some military units. No question. Okay. I am actually getting a little low on happiness. So I think what I'm going to do is start improving the wine. We're going to have quite a few. Let's take land at Elite. That'll help my capital grow. Yeah, because the pace was pretty horrific. All right. Yeah, so between the worker I'm making and the worker that I'm bringing down, we'll start making good progress here and hopefully make up for a bit of lost time. Now, ideally, I would like one that generates faith because that will help me get a religion and help me get one sooner. Goddess of Festivals seems like a natural choice here. I get plus one culture and faith for each wine and incense. I have two wine and one incense in hand. It's not likely that I will be able to get this one unless I found a city up here somewhere and there's just no food. That's the problem. Uh, and the fact that Lhasa is probably going to absorb this silver very soon. Uh, but it, so still plus three faith plus three culture at this phase of the game. That is not trivial. And it's not like there's anything else. Like if there was a natural wonder and I could grab uh, the one uh, one with nature, that would be something. But uh, it's not happening. So let's go for for Goddess of Festivals. Alright, we founded our Pantheon. And looks like I gotta be careful here. Okay. And I'm just gonna start here. Sweet. I'm actually tempted to work on the farm, but uh, I need to start working on my city very soon. My next settler, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, I'm just a couple of turns away from finishing this worker. And then probably the next thing I'm going to build will be a settler. Um, I want that second city and I want it as fast as I can get it. That's actually going to be a bit of a problem, though, because I don't have anyone to escort. And there's a hand axe. So maybe I'm building an archer next. Well, at any rate, I'll tell you what. Uh, we're going to call it here. If you enjoyed watching, please give the video a like. It'll really help other people find it. At any rate, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. I hope we see you next time.